Northern Ireland, who was a very good young man himself. So, immediate setup there by Kenzebeev goes for that single leg on Kulshin. Was very impressed with Kenzebaev against Kor in that bout yesterday. And again with Kolshin, who was in a real battle with Gabal of Sweden and came through that. It gets tougher as we go further to become the world champion here at IMAF. Good, solid left knee, Kolshin. Kenzebaev disengages after that knee. Southpaw stance for the young man from Kazakhstan. Looks for the left uppercut, but a swift right hand reply from Kolshin. When it's Russia versus Kazakhstan, they really step up their game. Looks for the, the takedown himself, Kolshin. Kenzebeev keeps that strong base, does so again. Kolshin almost slips trying for the takedown. Throws the little left hand in at Kenzebeev. Right knee Kolshin as he pulls back. Looks for it again. Ken Shabayev looks for the left hand. Kolshin, a strong start. Goes for the double leg. Bases out Kolshin. Looks for the single now. Ken Shabayev drops down Kolshin. Looking for the choke here, Kolshin. Still with that single leg, Kenshibayev. Pulling up on that guillotine, Kolshin. Preventing that single leg here. Kenshibayev looked to drop again and now really cranking up from this standing guillotine, Kolshin. Oh, look to drop with it. Kenshibayev aware now. Drops his man, breaks free. It was testing times, but he kept his nerve. And now tucking the feet together of Kolshin. We'll try to now. Kolshin looking to get back up. It's a really tight contest, as in our previous junior lightweight contest. I said it gets harder as we go on towards the end of this opening round now. And both young men have had their moments once again. Hard for opening round. And tough to get ascendancy for either. But that's the way it should be. Legitimate world champions when they finally get there. Straight away again, as he did in the first. Kolshin aware, as he was in the first. Spins, turns his man, bases out. Kenzebeev, very well matched, these two. Oh, and again, as the left hook came in, Kolshin stepped under it to look for the double leg. Pulls the feet together. Left hand working away for Kenzebaev. They exchange these little punches. Turns, gives up his back. 
Kenjibaev. Now Kochin turns, drives. Kenjibaev to the fence once more. Postures up, pulls those legs together. Colchin we saw grind that one out against Gabal and he's looking to do the same against Kenshibayev here. Kenshibayev back to his feet. Still driving forward, Colchin. Pushing the head down, Kenshibayev. Drops again. Colchin relentless in his approach here. The little right and left hands as he comes in. As you can see, got that. Well, try to keep those legs trapped together. Kenshibayev will look to come back up once more. And again, being warned for holding the wire there. Kenshibayev. Drops in again, pulls those legs tight together, Kolshin. Relentless approach from the young Russian. Looks to turn out Kenshibayev. Referee looking where those punches from Kenshibayev are landing on the head of Kolshin. Who looks to drag him back down once more. Postures up and brings his man down again. I think it's the gum shield of Kenshibayev that's out. Last 10 seconds, it's been a round predominantly controlled by Kolshin from Russia in the blue corner. Ever since that takedown, he's kept Kenzebaev stuffed against the cage wire with just one round to go. Final round, Kenzebaev bouncing on his toes, but he was under pressure the whole of that second round. Needs a big third on my card. Looks to shoot straight away as he did in the opening two rounds, but Kolshin is aware of it again. Driving forward, Kenzebaev. He needs a big round here. He needs that takedown for himself. Kolshin turns. Big left knee again from Kolshin with that space created. And he's going to throw it again. And again, once he throws it, he pulls back quickly to not allow. Kenzebaev of any initiative who, as you can see, looks to grab that leg, but he's not allowing it, Kolshin. <laughs> Dropping for that single leg of Kenzebaev now. Now the double leg. We'll look to control these legs once more and push forward, Kolshin. And if he manages this, you feel it's the blue corner win. Stacking Kenshibayev up once more. Kenshibayev breaks free. Koshin driving forward again. Looks for that single leg. He'll look to dump Kenshibayev back to the canvas once more. Like a pit bull in the second round. And he's looking to do the same here in the third. 
got the back of Kenshibayev at the moment. Kenshibayev turns away. Driving the knees in once more. Kolshin on the offensive again. Looks to drive that left knee in once more. Kenshibayev having to take these knees. Pulls him back up, Kolshin. Looks to drop with that guillotine, Kensabaev. This, this is dangerous now for Kolshin. And Kensabaev needs this. Looking to flatten his man out, put this pressure on. Kolshin in trouble now after a dominant second and dominating the first part of the third. But oh, the head pops free. That could have been the moment for Kensabaev. But Kolshin still there now, driving the knees in and the little punches as well. And it's the last 10 seconds. That, for me, was Ketsubayev's chance. And here we go. It goes all the way to decision, and, and I think the decision will go in favour of Nikita Kolshin. That one opportunity for the submission as he dropped Ketsubayev. And when the head popped free, you felt that was the last chance for the young man from Kazakhstan. And Nikita Kolshin, he knows how to grind out a victory. And he's, I feel he's ground out another hard-fought win here in the junior lightweight division on day three, live here in Bahrain for the Unified World Championships. So they nervously await the official verdict, but I feel Kolshin has got this. So do his corner. Ricky Wright with the official decision. Yes, Kolshin goes through in a hard-fought contest, but he grinds out another win on his way, possibly towards the world title. Сражайся с другими, побеждай себя.